Hello. Welcome, people. I think we're also waiting on the YouTube people to show up. Hello. Hi. Okay, so, surprise, I forgot today was Memorial Day, so majority of the stuff that I was going to do on my daily work thing, I ain't yet to do. So, uh, I decided today we're going to do Late Night Tumblr Live again, for the sake of it. Uh, and this time we'll try to go a little bit longer, we might do some repeats, but it's okay. The goal today, the goal today, because we're so close, we're so close, the path to partner. So we're gonna try to get there today. I'm counting on all of you. Tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your brother, tell your sister, tell your grandma. Get in here and watch the stupid man read things live. Let's do this. We're about to throw down. We're about to throw down right now, okay? We're doing it. Let's do it. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> all right. How am I supposed to live knowing that Salem the Cat is can I think they meant to say canonically, not canonly. My name is Sabrina Svelman. My familiar is a sarcastic, bi-curious talking cat named Whoa. That's awesome. I do not know Salem was bi. Props. All right. Beautiful. Good. Good, 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 good. All right. Uh, oh. Oh, that looks, that looks dangerous. It's 1.19 a.m. My cousin just sent me this picture with no caption and I'm freaking the fuck out. Butter me up, sunshine. I don't like that face. I don't like that face. I don't like that face. Uh, strange spirit. Okay, what is, what is the issue? And I will try to answer it between funnies. Okay. Be prepared to meet Jesus outside. Did Uber Eats just threaten me? Your last supper has arrived. Oh my God, that is terrifying. That is terrifying. Okay, uh, let me check one quick thing before we move forward. Just enjoy this, enjoy this for a second. Hang on, actually, you know what? Go back to the threatening corn while I do this. Just look at it, admire it. All right, okay. We're done, we're done looking at the terrifying coin. Okay, moving on. Concept, a heterosexual man and a heterosexual woman, all right? They're friends, okay? Neither is secretly in love with each other, okay? They spend time together, go on. Just the two of them, go on. And don't feel the need to hook up. Go on. And their spouses don't worry about them. <gasps> Literally heard from every TV station. Um, why is this a good idea and why have we not done this? Okay. Um, okay, so there's panphobia going around. People saying buy and pan are the same client pants by phobic due to it. Um, that's a touchy thing that I don't really want to get into right now, but I'm just going to say there are some key differences between bisexuality and pan. And as a pan person, I, I don't know, it's... It's it's very dicey. This is not the place to discuss that. Okay. Moving on. I'm on medication, and that can make me space use F, which can be a problem when I'm driving. Like yesterday, for example, when my best friend was trying to help me avoid a pothole, he said to the left, and I just mumbled, take it back now, y'all, and hit the pothole straight on. I think I did that one before, but, uh, damn. Big mood. Biggest of moods right there. All right. I say I'm just so evil, so full of darkness. I feed off the souls of the living. I strike fear into you sleep with a stuffed giraffe. He is my second in command in my army of darkness. Damn. Yeah. I mean, Slytherins can be cute too when they want to be. Just let them be. All right. Mm. You know those lawnmower robots, vegetarian Roombas? The implication in this post that regular Roombas consume meat is kind, frankly, kind of terrifying. A big portion of dust is in fact human skin, so regular Roombas consume mostly just human skin. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, I don't like that. Mmm, I don't like that. No, 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 no. No, no. No. 
no, 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 bad, 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 bad. The shoemaker's sons go barefoot, yes? But do mortician's sons stay alive forever? <laughs> Implying the mortician is the only one who actually kills everyone like some grim reaper. You don't know the people I know. Pucky. Pucky, no. Pucky. Pucky, what are you doing, man? Pucky, no. <laughs> All right. Wonder Woman review. Two out of ten, not enough invisible jet. It was there the whole time. You just didn't see it because it was doing what it was supposed to do. Well, damn. Good point. All right. 10 out of 10. Good movie. Great movie. If not, one of the best. Uh, how long will I be on here today? Probably about two hours. I'm trying to reach partner and we're so close. I needed one more day. I needed two more hours. I have an average of 65 out of 75. So I figured one more of these and we'll get there. So I'm gonna do this, and you can't see it. I'm moving my hands around, gesturing, like y'all can see it, but yeah, you can't. Sad, hold on, maybe I can. Let's, let's crank this up a bit. Let's turn this up a notch. Give me one second, hold on. Since this is a special day, since this is a special day, we're gonna do this. Hold on. Uh, properties, let oh, go to it. Uh. Where's my face? Why can't I see it? No. Oh, the one time my web camera doesn't want to work. Oh. Oh, you bag of dingus. You bag of ding-dongs. Your bag of the mightiest of dings. Ah, uh, come on. Let me just see it. Just do it. Do the thing and do it right. Why is it a special day? Because I normally do this on Saturday, and now I'm doing it, uh, today. Man! Man! It's not working. Alright, never mind. Ugh. Stupid. I love saying, of course, instead of you're welcome. Like, of course I'm helping you, that's what I do. You are foolish to even consider an alternate dimension in which I'm not helping you. You idiot! You absolute buffoon! Hello, Mr. Seymour. I am starting a voice act. I am a starting voice actor and would like to get some advice. To be clear, it won't be my main source of income. I'm just doing a job that works three shifts. Just go and do the thing. I see aspire actors that always say, I want to get into voice acting. I don't know how to start. Just do it. Just do the thing. And do it how you want to do it. If it's a hobby, just do it. Clap. Right. I had a lot of sugar today. Uh, whoa, them legs. I searched up hurdlers without hurdles on Google, and I don't regret it. <laughs> These boots are made for walking. Ah, yes, the old razzle-dazzle. <laughs> walk, walk, fashion baby. Yeah. That's, uh, that's actually really impressive that they photoshopped the hurdles out. That is, uh, when you really gotta make the big steppy. To make the biggest of steppies. Okay. All right, uh, 1957, 1978, 2005. How fucking old is chicken? <laughs> it is the eternal chicken. It'll live forever. It will not be stopped. And it'll becock its way into the next realm. Um, if that's so, I have made something like a poem for you. Oh, I love poetry. Oh, I hear it. Uh, Kaluka, here to be gay. Hi, welcome. This is the perfect place to be gay. Welcome. All right. Exception, oh, expectation for playable Zelda in Breath of the Wild 2. Badass warrior princess defeats big gnarly monsters with style and grace. Reality of playing Zelda in Breath of the Wild 2. A trending video of Zelda ragdolling all the way down a mountainside and hitting every rock on the way. Every rock on the way. The top of the comments simply reads, let Zelda say fuck. Where's the link, OP? Link's the one taking the video. Good joke. Oh. Oh. A wormhole. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen on here. I'm not even shitting you. That is mildly impressive. 
that's a good joke right there. Also, that dinosaur is adorable. It's a shame that bird's about to fuck him up. Uh, here to be Pan. We also take Pan. Every gen every sexuality that does not involve hurting a person or child, you're welcome. Come, sit, have some tea or coffee or water, whatever you want to drink. All right. Uh, a parenthesis. <laughs> It's just game forward slash. <laughs> okay. I need some context for that one, but okay. What if I hurt myself? Um, Vex, you want to try that one again? You want to try that one again? Okay. I still can't believe Americans don't call car parks car parks. What the fuck? Is that where you bring your car on weekends so it can play with other cars? <laughs> <laughs> Call them parking lots. It's a lot. It's flat. Just put the car there. That is a... Damn, Lord Ariel. That is a lot of pride amongst. I applaud you. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure what kind of luck the $115 frozen pizza badger is supposed to bring, but I'm not taking any chances. I mean, I got a real blog. I wish I could real blog right now. Also... Look at that badger. Look at that happy ass badger. <laughs> He's like, yeah, DiGiorno stuff crossed tonight, baby. Yeah. Honestly, that's a that's a mood right there. Um Okay, so here's the poem. PM Seymour. Feels like dead on one's feet. As he managed to leave his burrow with helps of beans and elf peeps, he will survive the OO, -O, for he is not more no more. He is PM Seymour. <gasps> I love it. Oh, Rex, you have swooned. I applaud you. Very good. All right. Uh, Jesus, no. 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 I can't. I don't want to sing this. No. No. Oh, God. All I want to do is see you turn into a giant woman, a giant woman. All I want to do, the trail leads back to you. What's new Scooby-Doo? All I want to do is see you turn into, we're going to solve that mystery. See you Scooby-Doo, we're coming after you. What's new Scooby-Doo? Na 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 na, na 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 na. A giant woman, a giant woman. All I want to do is see you turn into a giant woman. Giant Scooby. I hate this. I feel so much pain in my heart right now for what I just read. And why the fuck does it work so well? Why? I think traumatized 14 year old protagonist of edgy anime shows should form a union. <laughs> Get on the fucking picket line, Shinji. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Actually, I think Shinji would be the one leading the charge. Oh god. All right. I haven't posted a selfie in a while. Good. Excuse me? Hey. Fucking road. Fucking road. Oh, I didn't even notice that. What was one of the tags? Cruel Marxist thesis. Oh my God. Good joke. That's a good one right there. The two seasons of a writer. One, where have all the words gone? Is all speech that is issued from the human tongue since the dawn of language deserted me now? Must my keyboard lie mute forever? My pen silent? And number two, where are all these words coming from? Yeah. Yeah. Um, already doing it. Just want some advice on how to get myself out there. Are there special things I could do sites to visits? Uh, voice acting club is one of the ones I started in. Well, run by Kira Buckland. She does a fantastic job with it. Uh, there's Newgrounds. There's Casting Call Club. There's YouTube. Uh, and I think there's actually a Discord I'm a part of now. Um, that is for aspiring VAs to join. And you can do your stuff there. Um, if I wasn't using Discord right now to read all these, I would link it to you. Um, I would say get in touch with... Oh, actually, hold on. 
I can check my phone. I forgot. To do I have a smooth brain moment. Hold on. One second. Oh, that thought. Admire the two seasons of a writer while I look this shit up. Um, it is voice acting uh, guild. Voice acting plus guild. It is run by... Which is run by... Haru Dori on Twitter. Hit them up and they might be able to uh, get you situated into that uh, Discord. All right. Moving on. Drug smugglers shoot drugs across border with cannon. <laughs> America is never going to win this war on drugs. Holy shit. What's that flying across the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a bag of crack cocaine. Dude, we're fucked. There's no way. There's no way we're gonna be able to beat the war on drugs. Now they're shooting it out of cannons. Fuck. All right. <clears throat> All right. It's quiet. Too quiet. Oh shit, Slithered let loose a snake in the apartment! <sighs> I knew it. Yep. Uh, oh, we had a highlighted message. I suppose you want me to read this. Then, yeah. All right, I'll do it. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? I thought not. It's not a story the Jedi would tell you. Darth Plagueis was a dark lord of the Sith. He could use the Force to influence midichlorians to create life. He became so powerful that the only thing he was afraid of was losing that power, which of course he eventually did. Unfortunately, he taught his apprentice everything he knew, and so the apprentice killed him in his sleep. Ironic. He could save others from death, but not himself. All right. Uh, yeah, Kaluka, go ahead if you want to post it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. Oh, yes. The rare drill bird. Look at its beautiful plumage and its drill head. Bird intensifies. That is the most intense bird I have ever seen in my life. What? What happened to this bird? Are they okay? Should I, should I, should I call the police? You're going to be fine? Hey. Right. <laughs> Giga drill breaker. Love it. Ah, bless you. Okay. Fun fact. I knew this girl from camp who had a British accent, but she wasn't from England. And then one day I went to her house and her parents didn't have a British accent either. So I asked her where she got it from because I was really confused. And he told me, and she told me her parents faked it until she was seven because they wanted a child with a British accent. I'm so done. If I had cereal right now, I would absolutely drop my spoon into it. Uh, fuck it. We've got English weaves up in here. <laughs> fucking English weaves, am I right? Jeez. Well, your kids having a fucking British accent? You fucking smooth brains. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. <laughs> What's 0.25 plus 0.25? A dead Marco. Did you hear that? That's the sound of a distant horse crying. Oh. Sad. <laughs> English, it's English plebs, good sir. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I see how it is, Vex. I see how it is, Vex. You are. Uh, you one of them plebs? You want? You fucking? You uh? You try to pretend that you're British, going around drinking tea, wearing blue and red all the time? Is that one of you? Is that one of you? I don't think so. All right. Uh, what? Why is? Why is? Why is he tea posing? They tore down my childhood home in Istanbul. I visited last winter break and saw this nine foot statue in its place. <laughs> Kylo, <laughs> your Kalo, stealer of souls, destroyer of homes. He is tea posing on your childhood memories. You will never get him back. It's done. <laughs> tea moves. I love it. Oh, Rex, bless you. That's great. I love it. Uh, oh, it's Mojo. Yeah, Mojo Jojo. Mojo Shoujo. You stop that. Mojo Jojo? I get it. I get it. Yeah, that's good. That's great. I love it. I love it. Um, Click. Every time Aaron Yeager or Kenneke Ken regenerate a limb, 
listen very closely, and you might be able and you might be able to hear Edward Elric crying in the distance. I almost spit out my tea. Not to mention, if you look low enough, you might have a chance of seeing him. Bird. Bird. Big ol' bird. Yes, Mr. Dutchery. Kalo, do you know why? Because I like to say things wrong on purpose now to make people suffer. Deal. Deal. I find it hilarious when you're cried intro. Oh, I think I did this one on Saturday. Um, uh, there we go. Crystal gem. <gasps> Shit. Guys, you can paint your house. Paradox. Somebody tell Lizzie. Somebody, somebody clip this. Somebody clip this and send it to Lizzie right now. Tell her she can paint her house paradox colored. Tell her. Or Peridot, depending on, you know, if you want to say it right. Let's do it. Okay. That's from... That's from my own video. Wait, wait. This... King, King of Gay 5000. You come in here, in my Discord server, and you already post something I already did. And you think I wasn't going to see it? And you think I just wasn't going to see it? Bad. That's a bad move right there. You messed up. You messed up. You hate to see it, but you messed up. I'll do it anyway, because it's fun to do these ones live. My pronoun of choice is they. But you aren't person. <laughs> Look at this person who does know that the non binary people are just a swarm of bees in disguise. Release the non binaries I guess he was unhappy with how you read it. Oh. Well, gosh golly, Leo, when you write, you write. It is, a uh... Dang. I know sometimes there's ones that I know I have revoiced and I'll notice it like after, but like uh, when it's the very obvious signature pink that I use is the background. That's like, hey, you just trying to fuck with me right now? You trying to fuck on me? Uh, oh, there's the cat that broke the graphics card last time. That was fun. Uh, we're gonna zoom up. Uh, okay. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Bakugo dear. There we go. Perfect. Concept. Everything stays the same in episode three, except Obi Wan is in this costume. I would like to say that I'm sorry. Um, don't be. This is a masterpiece, and I love it. Also, why is Ewan McGregor a tomato? Does somebody have an answer for that for me? Uh, do you think you're able to play Minecraft with Jess? I don't know. It was funny, she did a mod yesterday from the official Minecraft store that I was actually in vocally. I voiced a whole bunch of animals in it, and I'm surprised she or Chris or Mike or Shadow didn't notice. Pretty funny. Also, Amy Smith was in it. Also pretty funny they didn't notice that she was in it too. Anyway, okay. So you know Hades and Cerberus, right? Or Kerberus, depending on how far into Greek mythos you have dedicated your entire life to. I know everyone likes to think that Cerberus is just Hades' dog, but like, Cerberus is the son of Typhon, the father of monsters, who I think was a sentient creature, so I like to think that makes Cerberus a sentient creature too. I mean, imagine, Hades, who's a good boy? Yes, you are. Yes, you're my spotty boy. Pardon me. Patronize me not, son of Kronos, lest I swollen you whole. Well, it looks like someone isn't getting any steakies for Din Din. Wait, no, I was kidding. Okay, I can actually verify that is correct. I've actually been reading Mythos lately uh, by Stephen Fry. And Kerberos, or Cerberus, depending on how you want to say it, uh, is not only a child of Typhon, he and Hydra are siblings. 
There you go. Love it. All right. I hope this email finds you a broken husk of a man. Fucking mood. Also, I love that it's somehow Square Enix's Tumblr saying that. I love it. That's great. Oh. Uh, Mario's so funny as a character because he's such a good person, but that doesn't stop him from regularly fighting a toddler. <laughs> Mario Bowser Jr. every time he gets in his way of him giving his dead and old school ass weapon for 280 times. Why is this true? Why is this so fucking true? I love this. Oh my god. Okay. Um, also, if you're a Mythos person, definitely check out uh, Stephen Fry's retelling of Mythos uh, Greek mythology. It's fucking great. I love everything about it. Uh, book six is when he finally realizes that Harry has no idea what he's doing and his brain breaks. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Uh, oh, there was a, there was a, there's a sequence. It's a sequence of posts. All right. Hey, Potter, I hear you brought, you bought out the trolley. I like your style. First class rich person move. So this is why he tried to shake Harry's hand. I honestly wish there was just a crack version of all the Harry Potter movies and this was the basis of the first plot. Now imagine Harry, everything Harry does has seen some cool power move by Malfoy. Refusing his friendship, just knowing his worth and not willing to be an underling. Befriending Weasley and Granger, nice going Potter, keep the rabble around to extenuate yourself. Being rich and powerful, but still getting Dumbledore to buy you the literal best broom on the market with money that was part of the school's budget. You remind me of a muggle father I mentioned. I think his name was Bezos? I'm sorry, but Malfoy would lose his shit when everyone thought Harry was the hair of Slytherin. He'd idolize him. And the fic for this is where, please? I mean, yeah. And then that makes sense. Book six is when he finally realizes Harry has no idea what he's doing and his brain just breaks. I accidentally quit in Tarantino that entire thing, but hey, at least we made through it. Uh, I see it. Oh, oh no. Hip, New Undertale, AU, everything is the same except Sans and Papyrus switched eyes. I am not comfortable. <laughs> No, why, 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 why did the thing who made this but it was okay? Why? Oh man, just imagine Tonks during her years at Hogwarts making herself look like Dumbledore for no real reason other than to confuse the hell of other students by plopping down next to them, asking weird ass questions like if they ironed their socks in the last week, and then walking away. And then imagine Dumbledore realizing she's doing it and joining it, so that sometimes there are two Dumbledores talking to one student. Yes. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, that's great. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Um, do not offer me a big spoon if you see me with a small one. I know what I'm fucking doing. Can I... Can I offer a smaller spoon? Absolutely. Finally, someone with some sense around here. I get this. I get this. I really do. Oh, man. Oh, man. He's a really good <laughs> crappy recorder. Make a little intensifies. I hate that. Ed, my why? Ed, my why are you the way you are? Uh, Diva does a 12 hour charity stream. Dad76 watches all 12 hours and is proud of his daughter the whole time. <gasps> Oh, my heart. Oh, oh, my soul. I was leaving my body. Goodbye, everybody. This is it. This is how I die. It's good. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. I'm okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, guys, I'm going to level with you right now. I'm going to fucking screw up these names so badly. Buckle up. <clears throat> Sh Cheryl Vipe Tricks. Okay, but what if like wings? <laughs> Krigsosaurus, okay. 
on my back legs. Wait, hold on now. Why would you put them? Look at this. Look at them legs. Look at them legs. Those are some good ass legs. Damn. Oh my God. The fuck are those? The fuck are those? What the fuck are those? Are those, are those forks? Sewed into pants? What the fuck are those? What are those? Finally, the answer to charts we've been looking for. My eyes are bleeding. I agree. What the fuck are those? That is terrifying. Okay. I can draw anything and so can you. By golly, you're right. Pirates of the Cambrian. <gasps> See? Motivation right there to do the thing. If Rose can draw anything, so can you. Just do it. Do the thing. And do it how you want. Don't even matter if you do it right. Do it how you want to do it. All right. <laughs> Have day. Okay. Thank. That's... You know, honestly, this just seems like a cake that, you know, just make for Sienna. Just be like, I know you're just a cake addict, so here, have a day. All right, moving on. Um, plot twist. The tears in Dumbledore's eyes when seeing the Doe Patronus were tears of pity. What he was really trying to say with, after all this time, is, dude, you haven't let it go yet? The memory faded out before he could realize. After all this time... Always, said Snape. Severus, it's been years. Get a girlfriend, please. Yep. Snape, I hate to break it to you, but you're fucking simping quite hard. I'm just saying that right now. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. <clears throat> Sprinkling traits throughout my OCs. This one is the kid in me and all my wonder. This one is my self-worth issues and angers. And this one is my absolute desire to be over six feet tall. What's going on? I'm in this photo and I don't like it. Hey, hey, Booyakasha. How fucking dare you? How dare? How dare? How dare you do this thing to me? And everybody who makes an OC, I really wish my camera was working so you could see how many fucking times I'm putting my hands. It's just fucking, ugh. You can almost like visualize it. Like, hey, how dare. Dude called Leah. So did you take all your self-control and stuff into Sienna? I sure did. Yeah. Also, hey, this must have been that gay Bowser Mario was saying so long to. I agree, and damn, Bowser, y'all be slaying as fuck right now. Look at that. Look at that awesome shell right there. That is a gift to humanity. Bless you, gay Bowser. Bless you. Uh, is this, is this one of them MLP things? Ponies. What are they doing here? Every science fiction and furry convention for the last five years. My fucking god, you are right. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Current emotion. Old box TV with the Disney Channel logo burnt in the screen sitting some ditch somewhere in Kentucky. Current emotion. What the fuck? If you know, you know. Yeah. Dude called Leah. Thank you for stopping by. I will see you later. Golden Hawk. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you. All right. Okay. Writing prompt. You run a tattoo parlor. Every couple of weeks, the same customer comes in, always requesting the same tattoo. An additional tally mark on an ever-growing cluster of tally marks. <laughs> what are you counting? How many tattoos I've gotten? I'm no longer serving you. That's fine. He'll just go to the next tattoo parlor and just the chain will never ever stop. Um, Pluto the Dwarf, do you want me to draw Sienna with literal mattress thighs? This is your only chance to say yes. 
on the condition that I'm able to take it and do that stupid rant that I did before uh, when the person brought it up the last time I posted it. So if you're okay with that, go with God. All right, uh, depression chips. <laughs> Fuck. Get yourself a big old bag of depression chips. They make the pain go away. Depression tips. Kill all gods and eat their flesh to rise above human chemicals into horrifying immortality. Sounds more feasible than just think positive. Yeah. Uh, what is a mattress type? Okay, some context here. So in the anime community, pillow thighs are a never ending trend of just like thighs that you want to rest your head on, whether they be guy, gal, or non-binary. And it became very apparent that because Sienna is so bombus, somebody decided to call her thighs mattresses. So I did a whole thing treating it like Crazy Eddie's Mattress Emporium. I'll see if I can find it later. Or if somebody knows the post, go get it. Um, and then I also did something as Kronk with uh, and cover those mattress thighs while you're at it. Daddy knows what he likes. All right, um, moving on. It's weird how people say, follow your dreams instead of follow your ambitions. Because once I had a dream where I worked for a place that tried to genetically engineer ducks to speak English, except the ducks only criticize people's fashion sense. Please follow your dream. I have read this one and I love it. Yeah, love it. Follow your dreams. Uh, time to get in doctor. What? You wanna run that by me again? Oh God. Uh, oh, it's that one again. Oh, okay. I think we're circling, so here we go. Yeah, okay, we're back to where we were two Saturdays ago. Look at that thick ass toad. Um, there's that disturbing, disturbing, disturbing that one that somebody actually sang. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God. 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 If you watch the anime Initial D, who hasn't? God, that's like an introductory anime. Um, oh, here we go, here we go, okay. Y'all, this lady on Facebook got angry at me, so she threatened to call my job and report my rude behavior to my boss. So she got my information from my page. Are you still a cashier at the Krusty Krab? I'll be contacting your employer and your parents and your relatives. She's gonna try to call Mr. Krabs on me, y'all. She's gonna try to contact Bikini Bottom. <laughs> She is going to call a phone number and ask, is this the Krusty Krab? And the person who answers the phone will have a choice to make. Whoever gets that call, don't let me down. Also, I have double power. If I get that phone call, I can actually say my name and the joke still works. I hate. Moving on. Uh, I don't know why I said that so dramatically, but uh, is, there, is that a keyboard made out of chocolate? Is that, is that, I want to eat that. There's no way I'm gonna reblog this. Careful, because those lower chocolates make make your stomach unstable. Carlos, oh, it's the periodic table of elements as chocolates. Oh, that sounds delectable. I want to eat it. Finally, I get to eat some argon or argon, depending on how you want to say it. It's the charcoal periodic table. Okay. Um. Oh man, this straight up is exactly what I expected corporate art to look like, to be honest. This is the most goth shit I've ever seen. That is beautiful. Look at that. That's a talented ass crow right there. Mm, let's see. Uh, <laughs> I fucking love this one. I think I've done this before. Hey, guess who won the ugliest costume contest at school today? His own fam fucking came in and wrecked his shit. Fuck. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, 
Let's see. Seduce me with the ridiculous history facts. Pineapples used to be so expensive that people would rent them for parties of prestige decoration. Mm, that's the shit. Yes. All right. Uh, okay, the mattress ties are in the oven. They'll be in your inbox in roughly an hour. All right, be sure to check on them. We know what happened last time. Somebody tried to make something in the oven and, you know, wait an hour. Rest in peace, Randy. All right. Uh... Actually, I think I did that one before that I just read. Now that I realize it, it sounds familiar. Um, snake? Is that a snake? Is that a snake? Bad to get on a company-wide Zoom call dressed like this because they were like told us to, because uh, they told us to dress up in whatever costumes we have lying around. Wish me luck. The person below me is ATAR manager. Only like five out of the seventy people here are dressed up, having some regrets. The head of our company joined the call and extremely late and was like. Is that Snake from Metal Gear? And played the MGS1 encounter theme through his phone speaker. So actually, this was the best idea I've ever had in my life. Damn. Damn. Uh, oh, I love the Tumblr post that goes something like, it's not Corvid-19, it's COVID. 19 crows aren't trying to come kill you, but they are. But if they are, that's not a virus. That's a murder. Damn. So the egg council will decide your fate. I just realized that you, you censored all their faces with eggs. Oh, that's great. I love it. Um, I've done this one before, but that one's always a treat. Come on and slam. And this is who I am. Uh, uh, cursed. I saw the cursed one. No, 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 no. No, Animal Crossing one. Hey, sweetie. Interested in joining one of my screaming deals? I'm selling a buddy hood. I think I just joined a gang. Um, I think he, I think they did. I think they have to kill somebody now. Shit. Uh, someone please at PM to tell him Obama has a Tumblr and I need to see his reaction. I would love that. Also, that'd be funny if he knows my stuff, because I just imagine I'm like, oh, there's a, uh, there's that PM Seymour fellow again. You know, his, his stuff's really funny, but, uh, you know, I really miss his God Create series. It was one of his best. Shame he's not doing it anymore. You know, so I don't, I don't understand why uh, he stopped doing humans or space orcs. Love that guy. You know, uh, Nerva? You know, uh, see all the stupid things humanity's done? It's great. That's fantastic. Don't really get a Sienna character, though. He's, uh... She's uh, quite, quite bombus or thick, you know, as the kids would say. <laughs> Michelle, Michelle, come look at this character. I uh, think looking kind of bombus. Michelle, it's, it's, it's fucked up, right? All right. <laughs> Moving on. You think soda cans are alive and each time you take one out of the pack and open it, you're really snapping its neck and drinking its blood in front of its family? <laughs> done this one before. I also just saw people's comments. Hey, Michelle, yeah, I'm talking about me again. It's great. Michelle, she's doing an impression of me. I love it. Uh, it's great. It's fantastic. <clears throat> How do mermaids have babies? Do you think the people who play Teletubbies feel horny on set sometimes? Why did Tarzan have a beard? How many things are there? Why didn't Aladdin have nipples? These are truly some of the finest questions. People ask. PM becomes Obama, one hour ASMR. Hello, uh, welcome to my, uh, my ASMR video. Hang on, let me grab a, grabs like a cup to tap against the mic. I hear the kids are really into this. This is great. It's fantastic work. Hang on, let me do like multiple fingers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's truly that's truly the uh the ASMR quality you all signed up for. Alright, um let's see. <laughs> I'm going to laminate you. Do it, slut. I have been informed this is a legitimate fetish. I'm sorry, you wanna run that by me again? He's What? That's an actual fetish? I'm sorry, I keep looking at like people writing in the chat. Hey Michelle, he's doing he's doing ASMR. I love that stuff. What? 
The fuck? What do you mean there's a lamination fetish? It's fucked up. Go back to running this country. First thing I'm gonna do, ban that fetish. I don't mean to kink shame, but uh, man, that's some fucked up shit right there. If my gender and sexuality aren't confusing people, what's the point? My gender is, <laughs> guess again, bitch. Yes. 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 Fantastic. Uh, let's see. Oh, I've read that one before. Um, anyone want to get in an argument with me? Okay, cream cheese isn't that good. You know, I was kidding, but you know what? Fuck you for real. Damn, he's right. <laughs> Damn. Obama, but he sounds like crunk. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Yizma, uh, what are we, uh... What are we gonna do about that poison? You know, the, the poison for Cusco. The, the Cusco's poison, you know, that poison. Man, I don't think it's gonna work out at all. Uh... English, coconut oil. French, smiling. Oh boy, the French. Oil of the nut of the coco. Fucking <laughs> 99 French people. Oh no. <laughs> 420, 10, 9. Why is French language so weird? Uh, oh, I remember doing this one. I think that was the first time I did the show live on that one. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Oh, I forgot about that cursed ass shit right there. Uh, super mashed potatoes. Uh, let's see. <laughs> or Kronk of the Fusion of Obama. Kronk. <laughs> We're, uh, we're never going down at the hands of the likes of you. Because I'm so much better. If you're trying to rip me apart, go get her. Alright. The clover has finally grown enough for her to munch on again. Absolute decadence. Imagine a kindly giant of unknown species and origins just picking you up and carefully placing you in a pile of chicken nuggets. That is exactly what that face is. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> hey, Michelle, she's trying to pull the lever again. And I, uh, I pulled the wrong one. It's the funniest shit I've ever done in my life. I waited too long to read the sequel, and now I can't even remember the characters. A novel by me. I read the whole series in less than two days, and now I can't separate the events of individual books. The thrilling sequel. I've read so much fanfic for this series, I can't remember what actually happened in the books. The stunning conclusion. Moods. All of them. <laughs> uh, oh god. Oh god, how much damage does one do if I hit someone with it? I know, but it, don't know. Maybe it causes an excessive amount of uwu when you do. Jesus. Obama Kronk is now immortalized. Yes! Perfect! Wait, what? Did you know you were a cameo in South Park season 20? Kyle's mom goes through her son's Ike internet history. I'm I'm sorry, fucking what? You wanna run that shit by me again? It's, I did not know this. Fucking what? Um, can somebody show that to me? I wanna see that. I didn't know this. What? I need to see this now. I'm sorry. Okay, we're going back to the show, but uh, hold on. Okay. Somebody go find it right now. And do not be fucking with me. Got all my hopes up. I want to see this. I need to see this right now. Okay. I love Irish slang like it's the most creative craft ever. Today I heard a cop from being referred to as a wooden onesie. And the sentence, hi, Jesus, me nanny looks better than you and she's in a bleeding wooden onesie. It is honestly life changing. My God. Oh. Ooh, boy. In the Flash, Barry Allen meets Old Flash. This is a nod to the, to the fact that I indeed update my Adobe Flash player. <laughs> <laughs> love this um okay let's see all right um if sienna looks like nightmare fuel in the face region will you object to my drawing not really i'll probably just crop it if it's really horrifying but you know it's good 
I made a disaster by Pride flag. Finally, a flag perfect for me. Damn. Damn. I love it. Hey, uh. <laughs> In a haunted house, wall starts bleeding, then spells 666. I pull out a sharpie and makes it go 696969. The wall bleeds just a bit more below it, spelling out. Nice. Yes. 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 Alright, why is it. Why is there an excessive amount of oo-woo in my chat right now? What's going on here? What's with all the oo-woos? <laughs> that's a that's a sweet oo-woo you got there. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, consider hot chocolate is dessert soup. Consider you're fired. I mean, they're not wrong. The marshmallows are just the croutons. You don't put croutons in soup, you maniac. You may not put them, but you do need that extra crunch. Guess who isn't coming with us to the new world? This person. Who needs a new world when you have crunchy soup? I mean, yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> Just guy. Hey, Michelle, I, I'm doing the anime thing. That's what the kids like, right? Uh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, what's this? <laughs> Naughty Kode. My singing voice is good for showers and mornings in the kitchen and drunken nights and lullabies. Who needs sleep? And I'm okay with this. I think it's silly to be ashamed of your art because it's not a museum and your voice is not selling out stadiums. There will always be people who enjoy and appreciate what you can do. I don't know why this hit me really hard and I've been staring at it for a couple minutes. You say amateur as if it was a dirty word. Amateur comes from the Latin word amer, which means something to love, or amare, which means to love. To do things just for the love of it. Mozart in the jungle. Damn. Damn. Alright, any updates on finding that thing? I want to see it. I want to see my name on that real badly. That would be awesome. I use a merit sentence. I... When your passion hits you in the eye like a big pizza pie, that's a merit. You're welcome, Vex. All right, uh, let's see. <laughs> Bro, every moment is an epic gamer moment with I'm with you. And right now, every moment is an epic gamer moment when I'm with all of you. Y'all are beautiful people. <laughs> Obama but Sienna. Oh, God. That'd be great. <laughs> Sorry, I have a bubonic plague. I can't hang out tonight. Oh, rats. Oh, Vex. Uh, apparently, somebody pointed out in the one of the season 20 south park episodes ike search history apparently my name was on there so i'm trying to see if that's true uh let's see <laughs> there's 104 days of summer vacation and school comes along just to end it so the annual problem for our generation is finding a good way to spend it like maybe sacrificing your family to Satan. Wait. No. 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 Uh. <laughs> I use my third ass. Nice. Ah, fuck. No, it's okay. It's too late. You're using your third ass now. He wasn't on there. Oh, man. Hold on. I want to see this. Let me just see. Uh, Ike Surf's history. Saw the Breath of the Wild, had to lose baby teeth. Taylor Swift. Oh, man. That is funny that he Googled Yuri on Ice, though. Ike's got good taste in anime. That's pretty funny. Uh, anyway, moving on. That was funny that Yuri on Ice was one of his part of his search history. Um, don't name your kid Terra. Teen Titans Terra couldn't control her rock powers. Final Fantasy VI Terra couldn't control her magic powers. Kingdom Hearts Terra couldn't control the darkness. So you're saying it's a terrible idea. Fuck. Fuck. 
damn it. Uh, let's see. Uh, guys, what the fuck's wrong with that cow? Uh, let's... I don't see any problems with that. It looks like a normal cow to me. No. I'm, I, see, I see no problem with that cow. No. Not even. Um... Okay. I saw this post before, and I did it in a video, and I never, ever realized it was a reference to the musical Chicago. So I want to apologize in advance that I fucked that one up for people. Um, I'm not doing it though because I don't remember the song. Anyway, moving on. Oh, a uh, whole bunch of follows. Okay, here we go. Mr. Milk Dad, the awkward author. Uh, uh, Goldie does things live. Rachel Messer, hey. K Jolt, Pandora, Lack Misto, Frick Spray Stuff, Rosie Emily, Kick It Tabs. Meow Lao, Acousta, Tom the Nightmare, Tomoyo, The Crab King, Alphac, Antisocial, My Car is Weird. Uh, God, Gunhammer, my boy, Tanaka, Space Uncolored, Darren, Moonwolf. Thank you all for the follow. Much appreciated. <laughs> Obama sings Let It Go. I'm only going to do it on the condition that he's not actually singing it. <laughs> oh, let it go. Let it go. You can't, uh, can't hold it back anymore. Yeah, you turn away and slam the door, and I don't care what they say, because the cold, it doesn't, uh, doesn't bother me anyway. All right, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot I was supposed to do this song. I had to work on that one. Anyway, um, let's see. <laughs> what the fuck are you, a beloved icon? I mean, look at that face. How could you hate it? Uh, just what time is it on your end? It is 12.22 p.m. And I'm going to try to go for one more hour. Unless, is that, is that the email I've been waiting for? Nope, not quite yet. You're getting there. Oh, wait, I think I see. I think I see. Yeah, okay. Vex, thank you for sharing that clip for Lizzie about the whole painting your house paradox colored. Love it. Okay. When I was a freshman, our his name was Hunter, but he was vegan, so we ended up nicknaming him Gatherer, and I still haven't gotten over that. <laughs> During high school, some of the Jordan students went on an ex uh, exchange trip to Europe. One of the kids in our group was named Miles, so we decided to call him Kilometers while we were staying in Europe. I love it. Uh, Obama sings, you're welcome. Uh, what can I say except... Uh, you're welcome for the tide, the sun, the sky. There's no need to pray. It's okay. You're welcome. Why does that... That actually sounds like something he'd probably start saying, though. That'd be fucking hilarious. I love it. Okay. Um, oh, I did that one already. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, People in big cities be like south side, east side, upper west side, north beach, southwest corner, left area, diagonal land. <laughs> in small towns, we don't need all this specificity nonsense when giving directions. It's either by the Walmart or it's on the opposite side from the Walmart. Why is this true for both? For both. If I post Mattress Sienna on Tumblr and then screenshot and put it in the Discord, will you look at it? Sure. Go ahead. That way we can all see it. And then I can do the thing live. So have at it. Um, okay, so uh, King of Gay found it. But I thought we actually found um, the Reddit post that shows it. So the, probably the one you found is, uh, is fake. But we'll see it anyway, just out of humor. That'll be great. Um, oh, big kitty. His name's Pickles. I love him. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I love it when a character's name and epithet are from the same are the same as the title of the franchise they're from. So when you have your tag, your source material, you end up with shit like Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog squared, Sonic the Epitomous Hedgehog. Hedgehog S, 1991. Sonic the Hedgehog, I bid. 
Sonic and Knuckles or Sonic et al. Uh, what's a Walmart? Walmart is a big department store. Sells things cheap. Controls everything in America. Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't eat this baby, so I eat this baby. Maybe I would eat that baby. You don't know my life. I mean, they did wrap it in a tortilla. I'm kidding. Don't eat babies. Love of God. <laughs> okay. There's no reason to be scared of horses. I don't know why everyone makes a big fuss about them. They're good animals, love sugar, muscular and strong, a perfect friend. A horse did not write this. I created this post with my human digits. I have read this one. How did you attain those human digits? The normal way. Biting. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. Moving up. <laughs> eat the baby. Don't eat the baby. Eat the baby. No, don't eat the baby. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Everyone has trouble fitting you into your age. I know I did. I was a regular fish out of water. You? No way. No, she literally was a fish out of water. You don't understand. That was the whole point of the first movie. You don't... <laughs> you don't get it. You just don't get it. Oh, my God. Uh, oh. Oh, I hate this. Swell idea by me. Less minions, more Sonic. Okay, but consider this. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I hate it. I absolutely hate it, and you all have to stare at it for a while. Suffer. This is what you get for uh, trying to convince the Twitch chat to eat the baby. Now you have to look at this. Now you have to stare at this and think about what you did. Bad. Bad. Very bad. It's not going away until until people feel sorry for trying to convince people to eat the babies. Okay. All right, moving on. Point's been made. I can see through the eyes of every Goku figurine. This post made me promptly put my Dragon Ball figurines in a drawer and I'm not sure why. It's so dark. Let him out. Uh, let's see. <laughs> God. Um. <laughs> Satan star, Satan star, Satan star. What the fuck do you want? Can't stop thinking of it. It's a good point, actually. Uh, Thymetrician is here. Okay. I'm gonna go. Let's go all the way down. Wee! Jump to present. Oh. Oh, Jesus. They actually are mattresses. All right. Well, okay. Let me find. Let me find my rant. All right. God, what I do with it? Oh, why didn't I just save it to my phone? Why am I stupid? Oh God, just kind of basking it for a second. Uh, fucking, where is it? Uh, it was definitely before I started working with Copic and pastel shit. Uh, where is it? Where it be? Where is the thing? Where does it? Where? Seriously? Okay, I got it. Come on down to Crazy Thigh, a crazy size thigh mattress emporium where we got all the mattresses and the shapes of legs. We're practically swimming in them. No credit needed, zero money down, 190, 189% APR. Come on down. You got credit? I got you covered. You want to rest on them thighs? You can't. That's, that's my wife. You don't do that. We get you your own thigh mattress. You'll be perfectly safe, perfectly covered. 200% APR now. I'm fucking raising it because I saw you had that thought. Shame on you. Come on down. Die mattress emporium. All right. We did it, guys. <laughs> Faster. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got some new ones now. Uh, yay. Monday in America. Broken pole with rope and American flags. Cincinnati, Ohio. This is truly the most American solution I have ever seen in my life. Why does this work? And why do I hate it? Uh, you know what they say, if you're always thinking your thought, oh, God damn it. God damn it. It's funny. I like that. It's a good joke right there. What? Wait, wait, wait. I know that telephone pole. I know that telephone intimately because I'm the one who broke it. Oh, oh my God, story time. 
That's the pole next to Sycamore Junior High in which the junior high school in Pipkins where I had my second car accident. A woman T-boned my car and drove me into that pole in 2008 and it took them years to actually take it down. That black metal pole you see just beyond the broken pole is the now leaving Welcome to Blue Ash Ohio sign visible at 5520 Cooper Road on Google Maps. The flag is there by the way because it's the starting point for the Blue Ash Montgomery July 4th parade. Damn. Damn. Well, that is not the story I expected. Now we learned something. Okay. What she says, I'm fine. What she means. Can, vi can vampires enter rented spaces? I don't own my apartment, so do I have the right to invite a vampire into my house, or does the landlord? Or does anyone have the power to invite a vampire into any residence? Vampires can enter public spaces without invitation, but what about hotels? What about small businesses where owners live in the back or on the floor above? What public spaces even remain in a hellscape of late capitalism? That's a good point right there. That's a very, very good point. Uh, anyone had the Discord link? All right, hold on. Uh, I, I, can I acquire it? Um, uh, let's see. I don't want to like accidentally dock some information by accident live. Uh, so let me see if I can just, uh, I, I remember. Uh, King of Gay, if you go to the latest YouTube video, not the one that's announcing this live show, the last live show, there's a link that you can use there. Okay, Vex, thank you. Thank you, Vex, the best. All right, um, oh, now we're all the way back down. I gotta go all the way back up. Oh, cause of Dimatris Sienna. God dang doodles. God dang doodles. Oh man. I actually need a small hydration break, so let me just scroll up and uh take a swig of water while we're doing all this. Ugh. Got one more less than an hour left for this show. And then I'm calling it a day. Oof. Uh rumble rumbly tumbleys. Rumble to tumbles. Mm. Uh, let's see. Actually, okay, can we talk about this for a second? I saw this. We did this last show, I think. Um where it's absolutely canon, I think, the way this was written, that Mr. Crab served in the Vietnam War because he was in the he was in the Navy, and like at age 18, he was in that. So, fucking, the guys who run SpongeBob now, because it's not Steve Hillenburg, because sadly he passed away, they're doing a spin off of SpongeBob where everybody's children, it's like SpongeBob prequel, but Mr. Krabs is kind of like also a child, which does not make any goddamn sense ever, because like, he was like almost like 60 plus so it doesn't it, it makes no sense also sandy is there but like sandy met spongebob in like the first episode i don't i don't get what's what's happening anymore okay anyway moving on uh blah, 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 blah. drug ness is dead then he became undertale uh fuck where were we um, let's see. At least we got fun lo-fi music while I'm trying to look for this. Ah, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, cause I wanted to see the picture. Oh God, oh God. Oh God in heaven. Okay, I think we're back. I think we're back. Okay, yeah, we are. All right. Uh, yeah, okay, there's the baby. <laughs> there's, our, there's a good landmarker, is the baby. Okay, I think Walmart got new candles. Are you, are you sure? You're absolutely sure? I can't, I can't put my finger on it, but I feel like that, uh, that's, that's, that's why. I, you know, I don't, something tells me. If I look at this picture really carefully, I think... Something's new. Something is new. Something is new. Okay. <laughs> the wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers will fuck up your morning jog. 
<laughs> He's like flying in, deposing, ready to fuck him up. That's great. Oh my god, I love it. Uh, um. Okay, B biographical information, gender, probably not. Okay, but mood. Mood. Um. Uh, it's. I see a bunch of people talking about getting banned. Okay, uh, there was a rake of rule list that I have implored countless times that you read beforehand before you join the Discord. And I think I actually shared it on Tumblr too. So there is like a whole rule list. So if you see something there that sounds like something you did, it's probably why. Uh... The most unstoppable force of nature is a cat that has decided it wants to cuddle with you. The most immovable object of nature is a cat that decided it wants to sit right here. That is absolutely true. It's very true. Uh, it's been three months since being banned. I'd say hit up one of the admins. Uh, maybe they'll bring you back. Because honestly, my Discord's kind of like, I'm a figurehead. They've established the things and they kind of run it by me first, saying, is this a good rule? And usually I agree to like the ones where like, you know, it's, you know, derogatory things or hateful things or anything like that. So I'd say talk to somebody. Uh, <laughs> the year is nine. Some mother be f some motherfucker be touching ta cow tits and like, oh boy, he's about to invent cereal. I uh, beg your pardon? Beg. Um... I have questions, Pucky. I have questions. Um, I've been trying. Well, okay, I will look at the band list later because there's one person in the last one uh, that talked about how they f just got banned for posting something that I read on my show and I looked at it and it was so lewd and so way out there that I knew for sure I did not read it on the show not live and not even on the thing and it was just like you're trying to lie to me right now uh okay let's see penguins watching the sky in melbourne looks like a pixar movie oh it does i'd watch this romantic adventure so the lighter penguin is an elderly female whose partner died this year, and the darker penguin is a younger male who lost his partner two years ago. A number of biologists have been following them as they've been meeting them every night to comfort each other. Apparently they stand for hours together and watch the lights of the sky. <sighs> oh my fucking heart. Oh my god. Oh, it's so adorable. I love it. This precious, I want this movie! Uh, alright, game of lover, catch you later. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> Me, day one of quarantine. Finally, I can learn at my own pace without the stress of a tight schedule, incompetent teachers, and soul obligations. Just me, my textbooks, and the comfort of my own home. Day four, day 14 of quarantine. Friendship into the school. Now Minecraft is my best friend. I mean, it ain't fucking wrong. Uh, let's see. Why are you quoting Melbourne? That's exactly how you say it. That's how I've been told my whole life how to say Melbourne. Don't even try to make me seem like I'm a bad person causing chaos right now. I meant that one. All right. Oh, there's not even a Tumblr post for it. It's just mother looking a baby being like, hee hee, I made this. Um, maybe it's part of this. In The Departed 2006, Matt Damon and Mark Wahlberg played two different characters, a subtle nod to them being two different actors, despite my wife being unable to tell them apart in the first few of a movie. <laughs> Opie, this is the funniest post you made yet. I fucking agree. That's that's so great. I love it. Uh that's fucking great. Um let's see. Oh, I did that one before. Uh Um the hell 
Diamond Joel, I apologize in advance you decide hosting as soon as I jumped on this one. Oh, okay. All right. So I edited some official Sonic art to see what he would look like with no shoes or gloves. Hey, I could tell you're a good artist and that is really well drawn, but this is literally the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I hate it. Why does Sonic have fingernails? He's supposed to be, this is, I had questions. I have questions. Why? Why? Why are there toenails? Why does Sonic have human fingernails and human toenails? It's wrong. I don't like it. I don't like it. So bad. Okay. Scrolling through the papyrus tag anywhere is just for love of God, please help me. This post has been up for 20 days and I'm now just noticing that half of papyrus is just, just gone. When the fuck did that happen? <laughs> Sans is eating it. Oh no. Oh no. Fuck, why? Um, ooh. Oh. Hey, uh, if the female symbol is the symbol for Venus and the male symbol is the symbol for Mars, we just got more genders to play with. Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Moon, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Ah, the genders. Titty, evil female, female, window, the moon, male, 21, H, unknown, and trident. I mean... I mean, yeah. It's not it's, it's fucking hilarious. I love it. Uh, <laughs> I think I did that one in the past. Uh, reminder, there are no cats in America and the streets are paved with cheese. Uh, what's your source on that? This man, he wouldn't lie to me. Oh, ye of little faith. Ye of little, little faith. This movie did not age well, or in fact, actually aged the best, because it still kind of holds up. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Anytime says someone asks Box of Vulcan's lies, and I said, no, you know, like a liar. <laughs> it ain't wrong. <laughs> uh. The fact that jellyfish are dumb as bricks instead of having a subtle intelligence as befits their elegant aesthetics is pretty funny, actually. They could be these beautiful beings worthy of deep respect, but they're just fucking bags of slap. Oh, like you're not. Eh, fuck. <laughs> Damn. This is the fucking greatest insult I've ever seen. I just realized that, like, cropped out really badly. Hold on a second. I gotta fix this. Why? Why are we doing this poorly? Um, 2.30. There we go. Got it. Fixed it. I am, as always, the master of fixing things. Okay. I went for a walk to go find slash catch Pokemon, but the Pokemon Go servers were down. So I just went for a walk in the sunshine on a summer day like some kind of idiot. I feel bamboozled and tricked. I did not leave my apartment for this. I mean, yeah. What's the point of going outside if you're not catching Pokemon? Fuck that. That's a trick. That's a trap. Uh, Seymour posted a link to the post for Kyle's search history in the Discord channel chat. Okay. Hang tight. Let me go check this out. Uh, fucking just look at John Mulaney for a while. I'm gonna look at this. Boop, 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 boop. Checking the thing, checking the thing. Gonna check this thing to see if it holds up. Um, where is my journal? There it is. It was swish, swish, swish. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Biggest, I see Game Grumps, okay.
That's weird. I don't... Huh. Well, where am I on the... It's not even, like, on this list am I on there. I don't... Yeah, that's weird. Okay. I don't get it. Uh, that's weird. Um... Moving on. Aww. So my friend made herself into a 15-foot-long cardboard Velociraptor with googly eyes. You hold on to that, friend. You hold tight. And you never let go. I agree. That is actually really impressive. I like that. Why do people say stop and smell the roses? No. Stop and inhale the demons. Give them a bath, them stinky fuckers. I can't smell, so I'll do neither. Bathe your demons, child. I don't wanna. Do it, they wish to be clean. They can bathe themselves, they cannot. Why the fuck can't they? Oh, fucking no, not my demons, ask them. My demons either bathe themselves or perish. Bathe the demons, do it. Cronk but sans, oh God. No, actually, better idea. Better idea. Hey, uh, you, uh, you've been busy, huh? You know, the, it's a beautiful day outside. The, the birds are singing, the flowers are blooming. You know, on days like these, uh, kids like you, you know, should be, uh, burning in hell. And I, internet, don't let me down on that one. Do not let me down. All right, new rage-inducing puzzle game, but if it can tell that you're angry, it puts you back to the start because we're only allowing chilled boys out in this town. <laughs> Somebody already did, never mind. Oh, fuck. That's right. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's great. Uh, <laughs> you ain't crying my living room, Pat. Why? Uh, for chaos, obviously. If you're reading this, then you've only been cursed to drink coffee for two years. Oh, man. Oh, I'm already five years ahead of you on that one. All right. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> me begging tears in my eyes. Please. Please just tell me what the book is about. Why? <laughs> Please. The book annotation on the cover unfaced. A submersive masterpiece. A deep and touching story. <laughs> the New York Times bestseller. Go fuck yourself. That is literally every book I've ever seen. I love it. Uh, <laughs> Obama, but the concept of a circle. All right, uh, you draw a circle, and uh, that's the Earth. You're welcome. Uh, let's see. WW1, 1915. English general. Plan? English lieutenant. Well, the trenches can be used to, English major, to symbolize men's emptiness. Yes. Oh my god! I just got it. Oh. <laughs> I love it. This is the best pun ever, and if you don't agree, get out. I was saying I realized the pun at first because English officers in First World War were just like that. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, that's a good one. I love that. <laughs> How many star in period of the sky? How many F2? And they're gay. I love them. I mean, I would ship it. There's only two stars in the sky and they're gay. I'd absolutely ship it. I think I did this one already. I actually feel myself getting tired. So uh, uh, we're going to keep trying. We're going to keep trying. Got half an hour half an hour and then I think all the requirements are met uh let's see um oh I've been getting emails from people is it about no fine okay uh colored mattress you know, capture caption might do something for your self esteem uh I will check it out later don't push yourself the fuck you just call me do you just call me a soggy nugget I'll have you know I am the crispiest Nuggets y'all ever meet in your life. How dare. All right. Uh, happy bread anniversary. On April 19th, I made bread. Latin graffiti from Pompeii's Gladiator Barracks. We've waited a year to reblog this. Happy bread anniversary. Because it's important to celebrate the little victories in life. Also, the guy made one of the greatest things in existence. Bread. God bless. God bless them. Uh, when I am a parent, I'm going to give my child the day of the full moon off from school every month and see how long it takes the administration to notice. 
I worry about the children of people on this website. Don't! Because, uh, that's great. I love everything about that. It's beautiful. It's adorable. Uh, go to sleep anyway. You can't make stuff if you're dead. Hehe, <laughs> dead person read plug. <laughs> dead person read funny plug. Uh, Eurasian... Eurasian eagle owl chicks. Oh, the laundry is alive and it's angry. This is why you clean the lint tray regularly. That does actually just look like my lint tray with eyes on it. It's terrifying. Guys, guys, guys. 2020 does not pass the fucking vibe check. What the fuck is this? Ooh. 2020 is the vibe check. Oh. Fuck. What's the word? We're dead. We're all dead. We were just straight up got. Oh, I remember this one. I love this. I just, I, I, if there's some post that I look at that is just adorable, I love, okay, first you're being a total dick right now, is one of them. Um, tips for flirting. Carve your number into a potato and roll it towards eligible females you wish to court with. The fact that this would work on me has me concerned. I agree. I don't. I would fall for that shit so fast. My pan-romantic heart would just go, fucking take me, senpai. Woo me. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, look, an Obama one. Sir, the teens want to change the national economy to communism. Oh no. How many signatures are there? Sir, there's, there's 100,000. Obama shed the tear. Then it seems, uh, we have no choice, comrade. Fuck. Why did it have to be that one? Uh, due to the corona, we have three days of the week now. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. This is just what having ADHD is like. All, uh, fucking mood, using that. And there's the really important fourth day, the day of the appointment. No one knows how far away it is, but it exists, looming in the background, waiting to strike. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rex, uh, see you next time. I'm gonna be busy tomorrow. I need to sleep, unlike some people. Hey! How dare you, but yes, you have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. And for all the giggles. And the poem. Don't think I didn't forget. Uh, made my way downtown. That's some long ass arms. Them some longy boys. Why does he only have three fingers and then one very long thumb um what the fuck nani float nani the fuck uh this is the first time in one of your twitch streams well then welcome thank you for joining uh <laughs> gas math breathing noises <sighs> you know where the nearest taco bell is Muffled play, Dr. Mask noises. Yeah, down the block to the left. This was posted July 11th, 2019, nine months ago. They were ahead of their time. It's true. I feel like Tumblr knew about this for the longest time. The ghost peppers have followed. I love that guy. Lewis, hi, how you doing? Uh, when you're a bee suit and you feel sweat running down your back, that's fine. If you feel sweat running up your back, that's a bee. Some beekeeping advice my mom gave me today. I thought bee suit meant like bee costume until I read the word beekeeping. I also was thinking the same thing. Late night gamer lover, gotta go. Catch you on the flip side. All right, thank you for stopping by. Good to see you. Uh, late night time video, but Obama voice, toad voice, and cronk voice. Oh God, that would hurt my vocal cords so badly. Because Toad I can do in like short, sporadic moments. It's, it hurts. <laughs> Not who you think I am. Oh man. <laughs> hey, Los. Sam's doing a late night binge. <laughs> God, I feel myself getting exhausted. Oh, God. I, I, I push through. I push through. I can do this. Um. My friend works in the grooming department at PetSmart and they bought a bunch of puffy safe hair chalk. I'm dead. Oh, they made a poke man's. Good for them. 
Oh my god. It's a kitten bee. A tiny predator to hunt mosquitoes, aphids, and other pests for you. Keeps company with bumblebees and honeybees for his very small I Why? Fucking 30 of them in my office right now. Oh my god. That's adorable. Okay. A lot of people are showing concerned. So I'll go. I'll go for a few more minutes. And if I get my energy back, we'll keep going. But if I get even more tired, I will stop. Yay. Yeah, the goal was to try to get partner today, though. And I want it. I want it so badly. And I know you usually get the email as soon as the stats realize you have it. So I'm going to just try to push just a little bit further. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We will do this. How come... Oh, I've read this one, but I'll do it live anyway. How come reading tea leaves is seen as this sophisticated witchy thing? But if I slam dunk an open can of Chef Boyardee ravioli onto the pavement in the gas station parking lot to see what kind of soda the old ones I think I the old ones think I should buy, food stuff divination suddenly isn't cool anymore. Excellent point, really. It's good. It's a very good point. Also, what? I want a phone that looks like a Pokedex, and instead of Pokemon in the entries, it'll be all my contacts. And I wonder if any of them will mind giving me their height, weight, and then yelling it to us so I can record their cry. Oh my god, that is the best idea I've ever heard in my life. It's beautiful. Also, I feel like they should just scream their name. It's like you go to their phone contact, and it just screams like, Kevin! It's like, oh, okay, I, f I found it, guys. I found it. All right. Oh, I fucking say this shit all the time. That is one of my favorite quotes. Okay. It took Katara about 0. 0.532 seconds to take Zuko down. Here for a rematch, he asked the waterbender while standing on the glacier island surrounded by water. <laughs> Zuko, the risk I took was calculated, but man, am I bad at math. <laughs> fucking yes. I love it. Uh, <laughs> I know he drank a milk. What? No, that could just be, you know, that could just be white fur. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know that. Move. iPhoney.co watermark. I know. Let people get the post where they want. Ah, I've done that one before. I didn't realize it came from one of those Tech to Speaks videos because of that thing right there. Um, let's see what. What is that? Decrease the increase. Who types the sultry little bitch on the bottom? What? I can't even say this shit normally. This post is less than 1% away from being completely incomprehensible. What the fuck does this say? I don't. What? The fuck? Nani the fuck? Ladies don't start fights, but they can finish them. That is a cat with a hair bow. How is that relevant to the caption? Fucking uncultured swine. Unbelievable. How do you not know this movie? Bitch. Um, oh, I did that one long time ago before I was like even like a hit on Tumblr. Um, Begun the rat war has year of the rat. What the fuck? Wait, hold on. I think there's back. Oh, there's backstory. Starving, angry, and cannibalistic, America's rats are getting desperate amid coronavirus pandemic. A new army of rats comes in, and whichever army has the strongest rats is going to conquer the area. Begun the rat war has. Truly. Wow. Uh, Obama crunk bukiam goes to sleep. I see what you're trying to do there. You're trying to fucking trick me. You're trying to fucking trick me right there. No, 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 no. You ain't getting me on that one. You ain't getting me on that one. I am smarter than you. Uh, okay, I that one before. In fact, I think that's the one I like led a show with. Um. Concept. The secret boss of a video game is the merchant you traded with this whole time. Their combat abilities are based on entirely on what you sold them. For example, did you sell them necromancy skill books? Well, shit. They could summon a skeleton army. 
Yeah, I'm really scared of the guy with 30 rusty iron swords and 200 fruit cakes. You should be. He's about to shove those 300, those 200 fruit cakes down your mouth aggressively. <laughs> this poor dog looks lost. I'll check its collar. I am not lost. Fuck off. <laughs> so it's funny to remember that pit came <laughs> fucking read. Oh shit, that's a good point. Oh my god. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I forgot Pit can't fucking read. I even said things like that for my friend Seraph as Pit. Like, ah, oh, dang, I wish I could read. Ah, oh, Jesus. <clears throat> Some of you know this already, but the absolute worst thing to ever happen to me when a boy threw a cat on me and I tried to catch it, but my thumb went up. It's oh. Oh no. Oh no. Fuck. That's big rip. Big rip. Oof. I am literally obsessed with this picture of my cat. It's the definition of, of, of Renaissance painting imagery. The shading, the pose, the thoughtful twinkle in his eye. Sublime. And then the sequel. That's just art now. Yeah. Uh, didn't Avatar have a live action movie, but a shit? No, vex, vex, vex. The, you, the world has agreed that an Avatar movie does not exist. Didn't even happen. It was a great idea that never happened. The world just, world's agreement on this. There's no old Avatar live action movie. There's none. There is none. Neil banging out the tunes, April 13th, 2006. Today's the day Neil banged out those tunes. Wow, that's an old post that I should have done in April, but damn. Neil, you go, you funky little mouse rat. Mouse rat, rat mouse, rouse, mat, mat pat. <laughs> and the tiredness is sinking in. I'm resorting to game theory jokes. This is great. This shows just how much of a professional I am at keeping streams going. Okay, um... I was watching a horror movie and the main characters were in a cage trying to escape this guy with a creepy laugh Then suddenly my surroundings changed and now I was part of the movie too and was helping them escape Oh! The one time I dreamt block <laughs> Fuck Jesus The Thought Slayer has arrived Wait, what? 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 How dare you? Um, oh, now we're getting some reposts that people have been wanting me to read. Uh, oh, this is, a, oh, I did this on like episode three. This is so much nicer in red. This is Coca-Cola I can feel calm drinking. No bright screaming red, no anger, no hatred, just a nice sky blue. This is a soda I can feel relaxed with. Honestly, this is like, is, <laughs> is everyone on this side a fucking bull? <laughs> I mean. The red on Coca-Cola cans is fucking, like, aggravating red. It's not even a calm red. It's just like, drink me now! Ugh. <laughs> Cold butter. My poor toast. Annoying as fuck. I think my favorite memes are the ones about insignificant but universally relatable things. I agree. That is exactly what it feels like if the butter's too cold and you're trying to put it on toast. Ugh. Jesus. Been there. 20 more minutes. I can do this, people. I can do this. I feel strong. I feel strong and brave. We can do this. I told my parents I miss archaeology, and my mom was like very sympathetically, Do you want to go dig holes in the garden? And I was like, Yeah, I want to dig holes in the garden. My wife, after reading this to me out loud, It's your people. Do you want to break? Do you want me to break a pot? Break a clay pot for you to put back together? Me burying my face in my hands. Maybe? That's adorable. You find a spouse that does this for you. And cherish them always. I, f I am strong and brave. Strong and brave boy. I'm confident and brave. Aww. I love it when Google Chrome screws up and they're like, Fuck it, here's a tiny dinosaur pixel. Okay, no, why does no one get it? Remember the scene in Meet the Robinsons? Big head, little arms. Google Chrome shows a little dinosaur pixel because they can't reach the web page. Fucking 
This is a good joke. It works. I love it. Ah. Okay. I regret telling a coworker I was a vegetarian because now a year later they're vegan and they live in Portland and every single day they post a video on Facebook of them running up to a truck full of cows and crying and apologizing to them. Who's Papa John? I just realized that I commented on the wrong post. And you probably helped that get 200,000 notes because you wrote that. <laughs> uh... Ladies, gaities, ladies, and Hades. Goth, they, them, lesbians get to be all four. Cherish your power. You have become the mighty four. Beautiful. Uh, this, what the? Oh, nice censorship. Found this fucked up ear corner work and I showed him my dude and he's like, wow, it's a unicorn. And I had to put real effort into not slapping him for that joke. I agree. Also, that's kind of incredible that happened. Fucking bizarre. It's like reverse popcorn. Popped in. Uh, no, that's a bad joke. I'm sorry. I have this problem where the other day for me ranges from yesterday to around five years ago. And a friend of mine is literally anyone I've ever... Is literally anybody who I've ever heard of whose opinion I like. Fucking mood. Fucking big old mood. Let's see. <laughs> Jesus. If you win, I'll move here. But if you lose, then I get your skeleton. Damn, the stakes are high. I don't think you need coal that badly. I don't really think you, you can live without coal. Trust me. Trust me. <clears throat> okay. 15 more minutes. We can do this, I swear. I got this. If you ziplock a bag fast enough, it sounds like a disappointed Donald Duck. How many days did you not leave your house, Goat? It's getting to me, man. It's really getting to me. Somebody let him out. He needs to go outside. They need to go outside. She needs to go outside. Whatever Goat is, Goat needs to go outside. Oh, okay. Why are those... Oh, I've read this one, but you know what? Let's just make people cry for a second. Wow, there are so many cat girls in anime. I don't get it. Where are all the dog girls? I just remembered an anime with a dog girl and I immediately regret this post. Wait, what anime has a dog girl? Full Metal Alchemist. <sighs> Too bad, I did it anyway. It has been done. <laughs> I don't like Steven, he's a boring protagonist. Shh, just look at him. That's, that's, that's literally it, that's, that is it. Okay. Also, what? 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 The gentle smile and kind eyes, broad huggable shoulders, not to mention their obvious hair similarities. Ash is definitely Goku's long lost son. OP, delete this. There's no deleting the facts. It does explain why Ash's dad is never around. Wow, I can't wait for Ash to go Super Saiyan in the next Y series and be identified as the first human to mega evolve. Fuck. I mean, with how fucking budget, how much budget they had for X and Y at the end, they could have. Technically, Ash's Greninja became the first Greninja to, you know, take on human traits when they evolved. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. It's just a theory. <laughs> okay. Hey, are you the roast person who wrote Coraline? Because thanks for giving me an excuse to keep a nightlight on for three whole years. You're welcome. Oh my God. It was actually Neil. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're that one. Uh, let's... Oh man. It's a Pika Choo Choo train. It's a Choo Choo train. It's a Choo Choo train. A Pika Choo Choo train. Choo Choo. Where's it going? Straight to hell. I would gladly get on that train to hell right now. That sounds way better. <laughs> the PM stands for Matthew Metric. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Now let's see. Um, 
fucking what? And it's spicy instant noodle curry. Making sure my prized thoroughbred horse grows up healthy and strong by feeding him six cups of instant ramen every night. <laughs> Your mustache looks like it's dying. It's more like, oh god, not this shit again. Oh. Also, their character looks like Travis, but with blonde hair. I'm gonna just lay that out right now. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Has it ever occurred to you? Probably. That's it. That's the show. That is literally Sherlock right there. Damn. Uh, I need to go to bed. I have school tomorrow. It's like 3, 10, 8. Golden Hawk. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Although, to be fair, we're getting close to only 10 minutes left. So, brave through it, you soldier. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Hold on, sip of water. Okay. Aladdin, 1992. The opening sequence with the street merchant was completely unscripted. Robin Williams was brought into the sound stage and asked to, and was asked to stand behind a table that had several objects on it and a bed sheet covering them all. The animator asked him to lift the sheet and without looking at an, without and without looking, take an object from the table and describe it in character. Much of the material in that recording session was not appropriate for a Disney film. <laughs> Combination hookah and coffee maker makes Julian fries. It will not break. It will not. It broke. That line used was that line used to just kill me as a kid. Oh, that line used to just kill me as a kid, and now it's better because it was unscripted, and he probably broke the prop. This proves my theory that Robin Williams is the man. Absolutely, I agree. Also, I want to see the uncut material that they couldn't use because it was a sound stage and it was recorded, which means it does exist somewhere. I want to hear it badly. All right. Um. <clears throat> I've been accused of being Tumblr famous, but it's not true. I am a Tumblr up a mid card. I have a few posts that got popular. I have some fans, which is super weird, but I know I'm not famous because of these two key factors. I don't get asks every day, and there's never been a heated debate over if I have top or bottom energy. Fuck. Guys, I don't know if you realize what this means, but it means I am indeed Tumblr famous because I get asks every day, and also, this discussion has been brought up before in my life. And I hate it. I don't like talking about it. And I'm not going to say what the results were. You just have to go find out. Back when I was a beekeeper, my bees were really gentle. And one time I scooped up a handful of them and I got really emotional. I just wanted to kiss them. And I essentially face planted myself into a palm full of bees while crying. And that's an important fact about me. I've read that one. And it's true. God damn it, the, the chat is just fucking blew up. They already know. Bottom. Fuck. Texas confession. I've never seen snow in real life. I posted this and it snowed like two inches a week later for the first time in like 35 years. What the fuck? Texas confessions. I've never had a million dollars? I sure hope it worked for them. I sure hope it did. It's just fucking... The fucking chat, why? Stop! No! No! <laughs> they now know! They now know! No! No! Why? Why is the chat betraying me so? Uh, okay. Y'all ever remember something extremely embarrassing and just feel horrible about it? Pro tip, try to think of something embarrassing someone else has done. You probably can't, which means no one else remembers the cringe thing you did. Wait, that actually helps so much. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why have I never thought about this till now? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is powerful advice. Fuck, that's good. I like that. I'm laughing so hard. He's asking the ghost all the qu- Oh wait, hold on. Oh, okay. All right, so there's no light up to this. I'm laughing so hard because he's asking the ghost all the questions, giving answers using one beep, two beep system. Then he asks if it's a boy or a girl and just starts screaming. <laughs> non-binary ghost isn't having any of that today. Fucking me. 
Wow. I love that. Oh, let's see. Pros and cons of making things. The pro, the thing, and con. Make. You've summed up the struggle of all creators ever so nicely. Yes. Um... <laughs> Hades explaining that he is the god of the dead, not the god of death. I do not control the die. That's literally, yeah, that's fucking it. <laughs> the PM stands for peace up bottom. Spooky boy. You're putting too much effort into this fucking joke, I swear to God. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, just trying to keep an eye on the thing. Okay. My lordy. My lordy. And just... Oh, we did that one before. Uh... Do deaf people understand puns? Are there some combinations of sign language which are hilariously ambiguous? Signing the word milk when moving it past your eyes is past your eyes milk. Past your eyes milk. That's appalling. Have a like. Fuck. I love this. This is so good. <laughs> that is such a fucking good joke. I love it. <laughs> Boo. Come on, it's fine. I killed another houseplant because of executive dysfunction. Mundane evokes helplessness. Kind of a bummer. Plagued by the demons I am. My crops have withered yet again. Powerful imagery. Frames you as a gothic protagonist. Emphasizes that you are hounded by demons. How fucking cool are demons? That's good. I like that one. No more discourse, everybody. Shut the fuck up and eat some bread. Jesus at the Last Supper, probably. Actually, that's probably true. That's probably true. What? I'm okay with lack of context, but at the same time, I desperately want the context. You know what I think this is? I think this is on the set of Mulan, and they were just told that there is no musical numbers in the movie. And I think Mulan wasn't having any of that shit today and threw a sword into the director's car. That is my guess. Uh, let's see here. Crystals for banishing someone, any of them, if you throw them hard enough. <laughs> this here's my banishing rock. <laughs> Fuck, I love that. Oh my God, that is gonna cause some massive damage if thrown. Ugh. Explain this curly straws to me, what? <laughs> Context, either sock on to kill a bitch or that, PM. Thank you, I'm glad. One day you get a knock on your door. When you open it, you see the protagonist from your favorite book standing there wide-eyed. I know you won't believe me, they say, but you're the main character of my favorite book and I know how it ends and I'm here to change it. Oh, thank God, my life is really spiraling out of control lately, you relieved. Harry Potter pulls out a shotgun. I think you misunderstand the point of this visit. I. Deep down, always knew it would end like this, this way. I say to the cat in the hat. <laughs> Fucking goddammit. I love it. Oh, that's great. Okay. Last five minutes. We can do this. We're so close. And then I have Braves through the two hours. All right. Full offense, but I have 24 hours in Persona 5. Where in the world is Mothman? Me, Mothman. Since that encounter, my life has only known peace. That is a, that is a weird interpretation on Mothman. I like it. Fuck. God damn. All right. King DDD inhale. DDD is already imperfect, so his inhale won't copy abilities. Instead, it has a longer range than Kirby's. This just in, King DDD is in fact perfect cell. I kind of want to see some clips of King DDD with Perfect Cell's voice now. Damn. It's pretty cool. Uh, special delivery. Bring me Schrodinger's head. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Fuck. That's great. Alright. Is this Evan Hansen and Connor Murphy? Question mark? I don't know who either of those people are. And I feel like my somebody in my chat is going to be angry about that. But, uh, 
Yeah. All right, dude, I really want to see your reaction to the caption of the color mattress size. All right, since it's the last five minutes, we'll jump back to the present. Boop. Oh, here we go. Okay. Patrick, I love your laugh and managed to make me a smile too. I've been going through some tough times, so I really appreciate everything you do. Keep it up, buddy. That is sweet and awesome, but also there's something horribly cursed about this. That the mattresses are still fucking white. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, I knew somebody was about to <laughs> fucking get pissed. <laughs> no, that is no. Um, Plastonically sucked my toes, not in binary parental figure. Go, that is a perfect time to use one of your old faces, because... The uh, fuck? The uh, fuck? Okay. Um... Oh, that's cute. Somebody says they fixed the surf's history. PM, it may not be real, but I have Photoshop and that is everyone else's problem. Bless you. When you fuck up something first thing in the morning. Wakey, wakey, big mistakey. Fuck. They're not, there's not enough thick. Mom, well, shit, man. When you write, you write. Oh, uh, fuck. What the fuck? I have so many questions. I'm not gonna even read that shit out loud. Um, uh, okay. All right. <clears throat> if you bite it and you die, it's poisonous. If it bites you and you die, it's venomous. What if it bites me and it dies? That means you're poisonous. Jesus Christ, Nate, learn to read. What if it bites itself and I die? It's voodoo. What if it bites me and someone else dies? That's correlation, not causation. What if we bite each other and neither of us die? Well, that's just kinky. Uh, why'd you have to psych yourself so much to read this one? I don't know. I, I don't know. I thought it was gonna be like my last one. Uh, but we still got two more minutes. Still got two more minutes. Uh, here we go. I'm in my psych class. My teachers refer to the LGB community as the GLBT, which fucked me up at first because I never read it in, in that order. And I just realized GLBT as an acronym is a lot easier to say than LGBT. Why is that the one we not use? Add an omnisexual and asexual and you have Golbat. Petition to call our community Golbat. Fuck. It's good. I love it. I love everything about this. Put it in right now. I beg of you, do it. I'm doing the hand pointy thing again. You can't see it, but I can, and I can't stop myself. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so we got one more. One more minute. One more minute, and then the two hours has been established, and then I can sleep. Uh... Let's see here. Yeah. Walking around with your arms like this is Goblin Core. Yeah, this is Goblin Core. Beautiful. Uh, that was not enough time. That was not enough time. Fuck. Okay. Some people might not have seen it last time, so behold, the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Pope Pinion the Fourth. The Pope Mobile. And cars. The fuck is that? Why is that? Also, has somebody made Jesus Chrysler yet? Because fuck. Um, let's see. Our, oh, people are counting down. Oh shit. Golden Hawk, you're counting down. Oh god, oh god, I'm not prepared. That gives me so much anxiety. Fuck, I need one more. Oh, flat fuck. Okay. Let's argue about Chip and Chip Noble Catfish. The closest one is named Bordia. Oh, that is a flat fucker right there, and I love him. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're still counting down. They're still counting down. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Fuck, 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 Uh, shit, shit, shit. Bakugo deer. We're doing that one again. Fuck, look at it. It looks exactly like Bakugo. No, no, stop it. Oh, like this. This is the worst feeling in my life. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Stop it. No, 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 fuck. Shit. I can't wait to eat a hearty meal at my favorite fast food restaurant. I like how this website has shown me so many pictures that would mean absolutely nothing to me, casual observer, and yet unlock a primal fear for me, a veteran of the Zell world. Fuck, angry. No, stop, stop, stop. Fucking why? No, I hate this. 
<laughs> oh, I hate this so much. Seven ninety nine sack of cheese. Nothing wakes me up in the morning like eating eight hundred dollars of cheese out of a sack. I fucking agree. Stop it. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven. <laughs> Fuck. Stop it. Stop the shit immediately. No. You don't realize what you're doing. You count down. You stop the stream. No. Four, three, two, one. No. You 